Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode. And in the last episode, we have uh, completed our add to cart functionality. And in this episode, we will retrieve all the product information using that uh, add to cart list session value. So let's get started. But if you are new on my channel, please consider to do subscribe on my channel and turn on notification. Let's go back to my Eclipse ID and uh, this is our project and it's uh, running on my browser. So in last episode, we have uh, completed this add to cut functionality. So if I click on here, so it's added the product in my cut. But if I try to add this again, shows that uh, the item already exists in our cut. So go to the cut page. So in this cut page, I would like to show all the products, but how to do that? In this video, I will show you that. So first of all, we need to go back to our Java resource folder. This is only Java resource source and this one is a model and servlet doc. So this is doc. So let's go back to our product DAO class. So in product DAO, what we have done, we actually created few methods to get some product information. Actually, these methods. Okay, so here I am going to create another method which is public and also a list type, uh, which is a cart list type, and name it get uh, cart products. And here I am going to pass a array list because we store our data in our session using array list or list as a object cart object. So let me pass it here. Say cart and make it a cart list. Okay, now we get an error because we need a return statement. First of all, write the list of card, uh, list of card, which is uh, say products equal to new array list. By default, it's an empty array list. And uh, maybe if you go back to my GitHub repository, you will see this variable name as a book. So please uh, don't be confused and uh, return that products. Okay, now errors, all errors got. So I am starting with the trikers block to handle exception. Exception, e dot print is stuck trace. Also, you can use this method. System out, e dot get message. This one you do prefer. Okay, inside the trikers block, actually we are getting a list of products. So either here you can create a method that is responsible to retrieve one by one product and then add those product into array list but i am not going to do that because i don't want to send the request to my sublet again and again i will uh, send one request to my dao and retrieve all the product and get back to my views okay so that's why i'm going to use a loop here so uh, here i didn't uh, pass a single product item here i just passed all the array list let's uh, check out that uh, if uh, cart list dot size greater than zero that means we have a product in our cart list then i am going to going through a for loop for which is uh, cart then say item as a cart list okay when we confirm that our cart list has item then we will start our for loop so in for loop we will query our mysql so query equal to select all from products where id equal to what got it then as usual pst this dot prepared statement so this dot con dot prepared statement and pass the query and set the value is pst dot set integer value one then cart list sorry we are inside the for loop so cart list dot get id and uh, then uh, retrieve the result set rs uh, pst dot execute query so now we have a result set actually which is uh, storing all the data so that's why I am using a while loop. So rs.next, I'm creating a new product card. You can say raw new card. 
and then just a row dot uh, set id um, rs dot get integer then our column name is id how many information you need we need id name category price and the quantity so row dot set name rs dot get string which is name column name is name this is our database column name row dot set category rs dot get string and the column name is category and then row dot set price rs dot get uh, double which is uh, price since the method uh, set price to set price double okay let's uh, go back to our uh, product uh, model so product model so actually yes so this should be double and uh, string it's uh, double also change it to double let's see it, uh, small letter double okay what's the error here okay set price so it's uh, going as uh, get double so we got our single product price but i would like to calculate our all price because one product if you buy two quantity then price will be changed so i'm going to multiply item dot get quantity so i'm going to multiply the product price with the quantity and return is and then row dot get quantity which is item dot get quantity and finally sorry it should be set quantity and then finally i'm going to add products dot add and then the row i'm going to add the row and then when it is done then it will exit the for loop and then it will return all the products so i think that i'm done with my dao class let's go back to my uh, cart.jsp uh, file so here my first task will to get the session list i mean the cart list from the session list so say array list this is at a cart type cart underscore list equal to we need to cast it first arrow list card then session dot get attribute and which is card underscore list we have remember that we set this session on our add to cart list is servlet let's uh, import it array list java dot util so let's uh, import the array list and uh, now i'm uh, going to check that if this uh, list is the so finally i'm saying that uh, our uh, list of uh, card so i can say it card product equal to null so initially i'm saying that we don't have any product in our card make it star so it will import all the arrow list and then check a condition if um, card underscore list is not equal to null then we will call our product dao product dao p p dao equal to new product dao and we are getting db con dot uh, get connection now we can call our p dao dot get uh, cart products and we are uh, passing a cart list Array. so here we received our all cut list products and then i'm going to assign it to our cut list product oops sorry I'm going to assign it to our cut product and i'm going to uh, assign it to our request scope so request dot set attribute which is um, card underscore list to card list okay so we added that in our request scope now let's uh, go back to our body inside the body and here uh, this is our table row we are going to iterate i am going to start a for loop here if uh, cart underscore list is not equal to null 
will set some condition here okay then i am going to use a for loop card as um, c clone we have uh, set up our cut product cut product and then go through it and we also use this one it's okay no problem it's up to you which array list you are going to use you can use directly the session array you can use directly this one array okay so now inside this uh, for loop i am going to paste it our tr element this one is our tr i'm going to x control x and paste it here and then i'm going to close it here and going to start it here so now this tr element inside our for loop okay now here we would like to store our show our dynamic value so c dot uh, get name first one will be c dot get name then second one will be c dot uh, get category and this one will be c dot uh, get price and this is our form action this value is going to hidden name id okay this one is going to pass our product id so c dot uh, get id and what we have to do here href so we'll figure it out later so let's initially make it empty and do this and save it and let's uh, go back to our browser and refresh it now it's uh, showing us an empty there is the product here right now so in 37 we got an error price let's uh, check out the console so that's the error we have done okay so actually we are getting some error here which is that uh, it's trying to know such a method just uh, get uh, price it's like that so um, which one is so go to our index page go to our index page line number 37 it's uh, not as a string anymore so it's uh, get price it uh, goes as a double so i'm going to re restart my server okay now it's uh, working perfectly there is no error so uh, if i go to my card page there is no card so let's uh, add one item to the card it's added then go back to cart list and here you can see that we have uh, got our one product list here so if i goes back to add it one more time so it says item already exists in the cart so if i go to cart page it shows us the one one product if i try to add one more so it's uh, seems added then if i go to cut paste then you can see that we have another product here and then if i try to add uh, one more so you, it's added to its uh, session in our uh, session value and then we are retrieving that product using that session value so friends uh, that's all for this video so i hope you enjoy this video and if you thought this video is helpful please do consider to subscribe on my channel and turn on notification so see you in next video oh but uh, i would like to confirm you that what i would like to do in next video in next video we will uh, show total price here and we will set up this uh, link uh, increase decrease remove product links okay so see you in next video